Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to integrate Google Sheets with WhatsApp using Pabli Chartflow and Pabli Connect. So I am an owner of a business and I've created the record of all my new customers in my Google Sheets, like their name, email and phone number. Over here towards those new customers, I want to send WhatsApp message of welcome, okay? As they are new customers, I want to welcome all of them. Now sending these messages to the long list of new customers manually is very time consuming and hectic. So to solve this problem, I have created an automation using Pabli Connect. Now whenever I'm going to add the date of a new customer in my Google Sheets, automatically towards the customer, they are going to receive a welcome message on their WhatsApp. And I'm managing my conversation with my my customer on WhatsApp with the help of Pabli Chart Flow, which is a newly launched product by Pabli. So if you want to learn how to create this amazing automation using Pabli Connect, then let me take you towards my screen. In this video, we're going to learn how to integrate Google Sheets with WhatsApp using Pabli Chart Flow and Pabli Connect. So as an owner of a business, I use Google Sheets to collect and manage my new customers' data in an organized manner. I use WhatsApp to instantly connect with those new customers for sending them welcome messages, quicker engagement and conversations. I rely on Pabli Connect to automate the flow between these two applications and I use Pabli Chart Flow to send personalized and real-time WhatsApp messages directly to my new customers without any manual intervention. And I'm going to create this amazing automation between these two applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So first of all, I'm I'm going to show you how this automation that I've created actually works. So where does the spreadsheet and in the spreadsheet, I'm going to add the data of my new customers. So let's suppose for the first name over here, I'm going to write it as test. For the last name over here, I'm going to write it as user. For the email, I'm going to write it as test at the rate publitudes.com. And lastly, for the phone number, I'm going to add a mobile number right here. So as I've done that, now I'm going to wait over here for a few seconds. And yes, if I'm going to open my WhatsApp right over here, you can see I have received a message right here, but it says the message can't be shown on WhatsApp web. So instead of showing it on WhatsApp web, I'm going to show you the screenshot of the message that I've received on my number from my phone. Okay, so I'm going to show you the screenshot right now. So this is the message that I've received on my WhatsApp. Welcome to Glow Nest Skincare. Hi, test user. You can see this was the name I've entered in my spreadsheet. And this is the welcome message that I've received on my WhatsApp you can see right over here as I've added the data of this customer in my Google Sheets okay and we are going to create this amazing automation between these two applications with the help of Public Connect for that I'm going to browse the website of Public Connect that is www.pabli.com slash connect okay as I'm going to browse the website Public Connect's landing page is then going to appear in front of you on the landing page we have two options sign in or sign up for free if you're an existing user, you can directly sign into your Public Connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. I am an existing user, so I'm going to directly sign into my Public account. Over here, you can see all Public apps window is going to appear in front of you, in which you can see all the applications that Public provides. And as we have to use Public Connect, so I'm going to click on this Access Now button beneath it right here. Then Public Connect's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. And in order to start an automation process in Public Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on this top right corner button right here that says Create Workflow. Firstly, it is asking for the name of the workflow, which is going to be Integrate Google Sheets with WhatsApp using Public Chartflow and Public Connect. This is the name I want to give to my workflow. And for the folder on the left side of my screen, you can see I've created these many folders in my Public Connect account. And from these folders, I'm I'm going to select a specific one in which I want to save this workflow in. For that, click on this drop down. These are the folders from which I'm going to select this important folder as the one I want to save this workflow in. After giving the name to the workflow and selecting the folder, I'm going to click on this create button in order to create a workflow. A workflow is then created in the name of Integrate Google Sheets with WhatsApp using Pabli Chartflow and Pabli Connect and you can see that there are two windows in front of you. One is the trigger window, other is the action window. So what is trigger and action? Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two principles. Over here trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means what is action? Action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. 
steps. Firstly, I'm going to set up my trigger step first. And for the trigger application over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it as Google Sheets. As in my Google Sheets, I'm going to keep the record of the new customers automatically as I'm going to add the date of the new customer over here, the trigger should capture the response of that. That is why for my trigger application, I've selected it as Google Sheets and the trigger event is going to be new or updated spreadsheet row. After selecting the trigger application and the event, you can see that Pabli Connect has provided us a webbook URL. Using this unique webbook URL and by following the steps given here below in the help desk, I'm going to build the connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. So firstly, I'm going to copy this URL from here. Then I'm going to open my spreadsheet that I want to connect to Pabli Connect. So this is the spreadsheet in the name of customer's details. To connect this from the panel, go to extensions, add-ons and get add-ons option right here. Then this window is going to appear in front of you on which on the search apps bar, I'm going to search for Pabli Connect Webbooks right here. You can see that I've already installed Pabli Connect Webbooks, so I'm going to move forward. But if you have not installed Pabli Connect Webbooks, please do install it so that with the help of this webbook, you can build the connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. After installing, go back and refresh this spreadsheet from here. After refreshing the spreadsheet, now on the bar, go to extensions and you can see this option, Pabli Connect Webbooks. You have to click on it and this bar is going to appear on which I'm going to select this option, Initial Setup. After coming to the initial setup window, it is asking for the webbook URL and the trigger column. For the webbook URL, I'm going to paste the webbook URL that Pabli Connect has provided us. For the trigger column, it says the trigger column will be your final data column on which of the data is added, the whole of that row data will be sent to the webbook URL. So in this spreadsheet, my trigger column is going to be column D because in this column, I'm going to add the final data of my customer, that is the phone number. And as I'm going to add the data over here in this column, the entire row's data is going to be forwarded towards this webbook. Webbook URL. So for my trigger column, I'm going to write it as column D. After selecting the Webbook URL and the trigger column, I'm going to click on this Summit button right over here. And as I've done that, it says Setup Configurated Successfully. Now I'm going to go back, okay? So now the steps that I'm going to tell you right now are very, very important. So please do not forget to follow them. From the bar, go back to Extensions and Public Init Webbooks. Now from this bar, go to this Send On Event option right here. It is mandatory to click on Send On Event because as soon as you're going to add the new data in the spreadsheet, the spreadsheet is going to collect and send that data to this webbook URL that is Pabli Connect, okay? That is why it is mandatory to click on Send On Event, okay? So this is how you build the connection between Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. If I'm going to go back to my workflow and scroll down, it says waiting for webbook response. So now to check whether Google Sheets is successfully connected to Pabli Connect or not, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the new data of my new customer in the spreadsheet. And after doing that, I'm going to check whether Pabli Connect instantly captures the response of the new data or not, okay? So let me add the new data right over here. For the name, I'm going to write it as new. For the last name over here, I'm going to write it as lead, let's suppose. For the email over here, I'm going to write it as new lead at the rate publicutes.com and for the phone number over here i'm going to write in a dummy mobile number okay so you can see i've added the data of the new customer in this spreadsheet and now as i've done that i'm going to go back to my workflow and scroll down you can see the response has also been captured in our trigger first name is new last name is lead this is the mobile number email is new at the rate publicutes.com with the other details so as you can see that we've successfully received all the details in our spreadsheet this means our trigger setup has now been done after setting up our trigger step as now we have the customer's details and towards this customer I want to send a WhatsApp message so I'm going to set up my action step and for my action application I'm going to select it as Pabli chart flow so in order to use Pabli chart flow on a new tab I'm going to browse the website of Pabli chart flow that is www.pabli.com slash chart flow okay after browsing the website Pabli chart flows landing page is going to appear in front of you on the landing page again you have two options sign in or sign up for free i'm going to directly sign in to my public connect account and if you're going to sign up for free you will have 100 free credits in your public chart flow account as well then all public apps again is going to appear and i want to access public chart flow so i'm going to click on this button right here now, as I've done that, you can see Pabli Chart Flow's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. So, what is Pabli Chart Flow? It is an amazing tool for businesses to manage and send WhatsApp messages towards their customers effortlessly and efficiently. Over here, to set up your Pabli Chart Flow account, you need to add your own WhatsApp number, and there are two methods for that WhatsApp Connect and Manual Token Connect. If you want to learn how you can set up your Pabli Chart Flow account for both of these methods, the videos is attached in the description box below for both of the methods. 
Pabli Chartflow also provides multiple features, inbox, contacts, team queues, templates, broadcast flows, AI assistant settings under which we have multiple options. If you want to learn about the brief of each and every feature of Pabli Chartflow, you can check out the description box below in which I've added all the links of these videos, okay? So as we have logged into our Pabli Chartflow account, now we are going to build the connection between Pabli Chartflow and Pabli Connect. Over here, my action was Pabli Chartflow. Action event is going to be send template message. Now how I'm going to send WhatsApp message towards these customer whose data I've added in my Google Sheets using Pabli Chartflow by sending them template message. So in Pabli Chartflow, you can create a template right over here of your message. For that, click on this add new template button. Then the new template page is going to appear in front of you. You have to select the template category from the given categories right here. Name your template, select the language of the template over here. You have multiple template types selected according to your requirement. Add the data over here according to your requirement and click on the submit button to create your own template message right here. I have already created a template in my Pabli Chartflow account in the name of welcome message you can see right over here and I want to use this template that I have created to send messages towards the new customers whose details I am adding in my Google Sheets. Okay, So in this template I have created a variable you can see right over here this is the variable right here. As you can see in front of it and in the end of it I have added two curly brackets and this is a variable one so I have numbered it one right over here. Here. So over here in place of this variable, I can add the value of my customer's name. That is why I've added this variable in this template. Okay. And I'm going to send message with the help of this template right here, which I've created using Pabli chart flow. Okay. So that is why what I've done is I've selected my action event over here as send template message and click on this connect button to build the connection. Then click on our new connection. It is asking for the token. For token, log into your Pabli chart flow account again. On the left side, go to settings, API, and webhooks page right here. You can see see over here I'm going to generate the API token from here copy it and paste it in this field right here and click on this save button after doing that firstly over here it is asking for the recipient mobile number to which mobile number are we sending the whatsapp message to so in this I have added the data of the mobile number of my customer right here and towards this number I want to send a whatsapp message so for the data of this field what I'm going to do is I'm going to map the data which is inserting data from the previous step so I'm going to insert the data from the previous step of this workflow how it works is that, that as soon as I'm going to click on this field the previous step that is google sheet step is going to appear in front of you as I'm going to click on it, the response that was captured in our previous step is going to appear in front of you. Over here, this is the mobile number towards which I want to send a WhatsApp message. So I'm going to select the data of the mobile number from my previous response. As now I've selected the data from my previous response, the data is mapped and as I've mapped this data, the data has now become dynamic. That means now whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step, automatically the new data is going to be forwarded towards this mapped data. In the help desk, it says enter the recipient WhatsApp number with the country code without the plus sign. We have to enter the number over here with the country code as this is India, it is 91, but without the plus sign in front of it. Okay, so remember to format the number as well after that over here you can see it is asking for the template name right here which template are we forwarding as a whatsapp message for the template name i've already told you that in my template section i have created a template in the name of welcome message so i'm going to send this welcome message as a template message towards my customer okay for the header it's a type of text so i'm going to select it as text header parameters there are no parameters so i'm going to skip the part there is no media url file name copy offer code url variables name over here so I'm going to skip all the details okay it is asking for opt-in do I want to make the status of this customer as opt-in I'm going to select it as yes as this is my new customer okay it is asking for the incoming block I'm going to select it as none right over here okay I don't want to block the status of the incoming it is asking for the tags to remove tax to add attribute name attribute value which I do not require so I'm going to skip the part and lastly it is asking for me to enter the body parameter that is the customer name this is the variable one that I've created in this template and in place of this variable, I want to add the data of the customer name. So what I'm going to do is as I want to add the data of the customer name, I'm going to map the data of the customer name in this variable step right here. So if you're going to create multiple variables, you're going to find all the fields of those variables in this manner over here. Okay. So now as I've done that, as I've added the name of the customer over here as well, it says save and send test request. But before I want to tell you one thing. In my Google Sheets, I've added this mobile number you can see right over here, but this is a dummy mobile number. 
no whatsapp message can be forwarded towards this number so in place of this dummy number what i'm going to do is i'm going to add my number right over here without the plus sign and the country code i'm going to add my number to check whether this workflow that i'm creating is successfully working or not okay so in place of this recipient mobile number i'm going to add my mobile number after doing that now i'm going to click on the save and send test request button right here now as I've done that I have received a response which is a positive response as the status comes as success and the message comes as message sent. Now I'm going to open my WhatsApp as I've added my WhatsApp number in place of the recipient mobile number. I'm going to open my WhatsApp and check whether I have received a new message or not. Okay so this is my WhatsApp I'm going to open it and yes you can see right over here I have received the message successfully on my WhatsApp it says welcome to Glowness Skincare. Hi new lead you can see this was the name I've added in my spreadsheet you can see right here new lead okay i'm going to zoom the spreadsheet this was the name okay and this is the same template that i've received as a message you can see right over here on my whatsapp so as now i've received this message this means that we have successfully created a connection between google sheets and pabli chart flow with the help of pabli connect so now to sort of tell her what we have done now whenever i'm going to add the date of the new customers details in my spreadsheet automatically the trigger google sheets new updated spreadsheet is going to capture the response of that and using the customer details automatically using pabli chart flow a message template is going to be forwarded towards them a welcome message is going to be forwarded towards them on their whatsapp and this is how i've built the connection between google Google Sheets and WhatsApp with the help of Pabli Chart Flow and Pabli Connect. So this was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Not just with these applications, you can create automation between multiple applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any doubts, you can send us email on support at the rate pabli.com. If you have any queries, you can ask us queries on forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issues, you can check out this link. If you like this video, please do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button down there.